how to connect Google Forms with Anaten step by step. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this tutorial, we are going to dive into how you can connect Google Form with Anaten. So mainly there are two ways. One is beginner friendly and takes just few clicks. The other one is real time advanced method using Google App Script for instant automation. So, but note before we start, uh, you cannot connect Google Form directly into Anaten. So there is no node into Anaten. You can just search, for example, Google Form. As you can see, there is no node. But instead of, uh, you can use Facebook. So let's get started. So if you want instant access of Anaten, just go into description and click on that link. So you will get 15 days free trial. Now let's get started to tutorial. Now I will show you first uh, method, which is uh, first method. We don't need a Google webhook or webhook. We need triggered manually and just add one more, which is Google Sheet. So why I'm adding Google Sheet into my workflow? So I will just show you first. Let's uh, now over here you have to uh, get on raw updated. So this is a kind of trigger. Uh, so it will trigger automatically when this uh, something when uh, some data if you have added it will automatically trigger. So click on this on a raw added. So I have already created a video how you can create credential for uh, the Google uh, Sheet. So go that in that go and search that video and see. Now over here. Uh, as you can see here, I have added Google Sheet. So I have connected with my Google Sheet. Now uh, the poll times is every hours or every minute. So now here from here, you can choose uh, documents. So let's uh, first we will create a document over here. Then uh, we will add later. So, so first uh, go to Google Form. From here, what you have to do is, for example, let's say a uh, t-shirt sign up. So just click on it and then uh, click on the t-shirt. So wait for a few seconds, it will load. Now, as you can see here, you can uh, you can make from scratch if you want to, but I'm using template uh, just to make things faster way. Now, what you have to do is go to response. Now, over here, you will find this link to Google, link, link to sheet. Click on that and from here you will find a create new spreadsheet. Now over here you can give a name by default or you can change based on your requirement. Now click on this create. Now as you can see it will create. As you can see we have successfully created our Google Sheet. So now let's choose the document contact information. Now let's refresh contact information okay we got our document now sheet is first form response one now from here triggered on when raw added so it will automatically uh, triggered when uh, something happens over here fetch a test event before that no google sheet data found over here so what you have to do is uh, let's give a trial over here so before we do Okay, this is the contact information form. Let's go and go to questions. Click on this publish. Uh, click on this publish again. Now you have to publish the Google form. Now copy the link and open a new tab. I'll just, okay. Uh, I haven't uh, copied the link. Copy and paste over here. Now over here, just add some details related to you and related to whatever you want to add. T-shirt preview, answer, bullshit. T-shirt. Now let's uh, submit this to the Google Sheet. Now go to Google Sheet. As you can see, we have added something over here. Now let's uh, execute our workflow. Now just working as you can see the workflow has been executed and the data has been uh, fetched by the google sheet in the output so 
so basically this is how you can connect a uh, google form to an attend this is not the only way but this is uh, the for the beginner way so if you want more advanced more uh, more free hand over your data or you use your data you can use uh, different uh, method now let's uh, delete this and if you want a faster way you can use this way now let's move and add a webhook now what you have to do is uh, change the HTTP method to post copy this and what you have to do next is go to Google form and create one more form Google form I will choose template so it's more easier so it's uh, uh, related to event registration I will choose this template now go to response click on this link sheet now I will choose by default name create a new list for this event registration now then uh, the this table has been added now what you have to to go is go to extension and the top and click on the app script over here now then what you have to do is just paste the code which i have added in the into description now this is the code now make sure you have uh, you replace this var url with your uh, anatin web hook url so go back to your url and copy this or you can change this path to google form so just make more convenient go to your app and paste this uh, webhook url now so just press ctrl plus c so it will save our project now what you have to do in the left side you will find this triggers just click on the trigger now click on this add trigger it, you will find this button in the right bottom now over here you have to choose a which function to run is on on form submission now choose form spreadsheet select event type to on form submit now click on this save then now it will ask you to sign up with your google account because i have already done this now as you can see here i, I will select this it will give you something like this you don't need to worry about just go click on this advance and go to until untitled project give all the access which are the necessary which are the required so now click on the save now wait for a few seconds and now our trigger has been deployed now the next thing which you have to do is go to your web uh, event registration go into first you have to publish this click on this publish button and now wait for a few seconds and copy the uh, responder link before that you have to listen for the uh, test event now before we submit form we will execute our workflow waiting for triggered event now just i will paste this and let's add something here, here rocket john then we will add my own email address then organization there is no or now what days will attend just copy all of option uh, click on the submit now go to your workflow as you can see our workflow has been executed successfully now open this workflow if you go into output you will find the result so there are there are two methods you can just follow these methods and you can connect google form with the annotate so if you ask question why the second method is good because uh, unlikely method one which is check google sheet every few minutes this method triggered your annotate workflow immediately when someone submitted a form so and the more control over data you can format and clean your form data inside the script before sending it to annotate you can remove empty field rename keys or filtering specific answers or you can 
uh, flexible and scalable. You can integrate advanced logic later like sending condition emails, filtering spam based on inputs. So you can log in data into multiple systems at once. So yeah, you can use. So after the connection, you can create send automation emails. You can send confirmation or follow ups email, emails instantly to the form respondent using Gmail mail sender. Uh, you can publish data to CRMs, you can trigger a notification, and you can save in a uh, database. So if you want to create uh, these automations, just comment it down below. I will create this automation. So if you found this video helpful, uh, then subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.